up. I was diagnosed with autism at the age of three. The doctor told me I would never be able to walk. I'll never be able to talk. I would never be able to put on a pair of underpants. I'm sitting here, I'm talking, I have clothes on, don't I? My brother started me out playing sports, like baseball, football, basketball, out in the neighborhood. And we started basketball GBA at fourth grade. And then I went out for basketball JV as a sophomore. I really worked my butt off just to try to get on the team. And my JV coach, Coach Amoroso, told me he liked my effort, but unfortunately it wasn't good enough. He offered me team manager, and I jumped at it. My number one dream was to win a sectional championship. That was my number one dream over any of this success I've had in the last 13 years tomorrow. My sophomore and junior year, we lost both times at the buzzer against our rival, Arcadia. I was devastated. The last time Grace Athena had a sectional title before my senior year was 1992. My senior year was a magical year. The night before, coach gives you the jersey, says, we're going to suit you up, but we can't promise you anything about playing time. I said, all I want to do is help this team win a sectional championship. Then, that night, we get a 20-point lead. Four minutes to go in the game, he points his finger at me and he's, I sub into the game. I hit my first three with 312 left. Everyone went crazy. I ended up having six threes in four minutes. The Grease Athena was so happy for me, but when I went in there and said, we haven't accomplished anything. We win our first sectional game, then we go into the Boot Cross Arena. We win by 15. Then we go against the Rondequay. We split during the year. Our dream comes true. We proved everybody wrong and won our first sectional title since 92. Best moment ever. That was a dream come true. After that season, won a Teen Choice Award. Won an SB for Best Sports Ball. Who was nominated with me was Kobe Bryant's 81 points, George Mason, there we run to the Final Four that year, Dakota Dowd, who was a 13-year-old golfer. It was, a, it was a tough competition there. I never thought that my name would be next to an S. Yeah. Up on him, Jason! Up on him! I came back coaching at Athena with Jim Johnson in 2008. We won six of the last 11 sectional titles in Jimmy High's tenure. We had a lot of talent when we were there, but they all bought into what we wanted to do. The reason why we won is so that how hard we worked, how hard we cared for each other. That's what I'm trying to bring here, a winning attitude. September of 2010, I said, I'm going to finish a marathon. Six months into my training when I was doing 5Ks, 10Ks, 15Ks, I was having success with it. My cross-country coach at high school asked me, what do you want to do? And Jim Johnson asked me, what do you want to do on your first marathon time wise? I'm going to try to break 305. And then we're going to try to go to Boston. They're like, wait a minute, you haven't ran your first marathon yet. You'd be lucky to be three hours and 30 minutes. First Rochester Marathon, 3.01.49. But I did my second Rochester, three hours, 54 seconds. I go to my first Boston. Here come the naysayers again. You're never gonna break three hours. All my running friends say, oh, you're not gonna break three hours on this course. 2.57.5. So I've run Boston four times. I've done 16 half marathons, 15 full marathons, three ultras. I've done over 25 5Ks. 8 10Ks, 6 15Ks. No greater feeling when you cross the pinnacle. I left Athena in 2017. I felt like I wanted to make an impact somewhere else. 1962 was the last time Hilton Basketball won a sectional title. And the varsity can do it, but they gotta buy in. And they've been doing that for the most part of this year. And it's probably the most improved team I've ever been a part of as a coach from beginning to end. My relationship with J-Mac has gone back many years. I was fortunate enough to be an athletic director in the Greece Central School Districts. About the time that Jason had his uh, miraculous night where he was hot as a pistol. Now he's on board here in Hilton as a volunteer working with our boys program. And you can always hear his infectious laugh and that heavy clap that he has. Our job at the JV level is to prepare them for varsity and teach life lessons as not only as a player but as a person. As a coach, we're not coaching just to win games. We're here to impact lives. Being a positive role model for the youth. You're a teacher. You're teaching not only the game, but you're teaching life to them. Basketball and sports in general is such a beautiful game that it prepares you for life. That things are not always going to go your way. People who try and fail are more superior people who don't try at all. You got to remember the next play, the next question, the next thing in life. The biggest thing is nobody remembers your wins and losses. It's what adults you develop on and off the court or on and off the fields. In the beginning of my career, I was not good enough. I was more bothered by losses and wins, but now I figured out we were coaching to impact lives in a positive way, being a positive role model. 
Back in 2006, when everything happened to me and all the success happened, the message that was struck to me by my old high school coach, that I always take with me to the grave, is giving back to your community. Not only to your high school, but to your whole Rochester community that gave to you. I think anyone who knows him knows he just wants to talk sports. He's passionate about the game of basketball. You know, he comes on board and really just exudes how basketball should be fun. J-Mac brings a lot of energy to our team. I think that's probably his best quality. Just the way he brings it with his energy helps us a lot and keeps us very motivated. My goals in the future are either be a teacher aide, motivational speaker, I want to coach forever, as long as I can, uh, be a personal trainer and skills trainer. And to be the best role model to be for young people. It, it feels great to be a role model to not only kids with disabilities, but to the youth and to everyone.